About a week ago, last Saturday exactly, I faced a, a dilemma. Actually, uh, it was two dilemma, facing two issues. First, I went online and, uh, and researched and looked up TEDx and finally saw the list of, uh, of speakers for today's event. I was going to be one of them now, and I was quite impressed and a little bit intimidated. Astrophysicists, entrepreneurs, uh, politicians as well. Uh, it, it was a great group of people, and, uh, and I, I was asking myself, was I up for the task? So dilemma number one. Dilemma number two was probably even more daunting. I had that, that, that evening dinner plans <laughs> with my daughter's boyfriend's parents, possible future in-laws. Again, was I up for the task? So I decided to go for a bike ride. Actually, it, it really wasn't like that. It was more like this. Very casual, leisurely ride, a little bit of exercise to get, uh, to get going. And lo and behold, as I was making my way back, getting ready for the, the, the plans for the evening, I had an accident, a biking accident. I went off the road and, and crashed, and this was the result. I fractured my clavicle. I'm not making this up. See the... I'm, I can barely hold this uh, clicker here. I, I fractured my clavicle in four places. There, there was five pieces there. And I said, whoa, there's, my dilemmas have been resolved. <laughs> it's perfect. Probably can't make the speech, so pressure's off. And more importantly, I'm definitely not making the dinner. <laughs> the thing I didn't count on was the Swiss medical system. <laughs> Very good. Best in the world, they say. And I had a great surgeon, uh, and he stitched me together. On Monday afternoon, uh, they, I went into two hours of surgery, completely knocked out. Uh, they put screws, pins, plates, all sorts of stuff. They put it all together. And, and, and he told me afterwards, hey, you're going to be fine. No worries. You can make the dinner. <laughs> and importantly, you can make the speech. <laughs> so here I am. I want to talk today a little bit about, uh, and briefly, about something that, that I think is very important and very much uh, with the, within the theme of what we're talking about today, reach, uh, and that is success. What makes people successful? Uh, and I want to talk about common threads that are shared uh, by successful people. What, why am I qualified or what makes me qualified to talk about that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing other than I'm obsessed by the topic. I do it for a living. I spend all of my time uh, working and trying to find talent talented people that I think can become successful. People I can develop, uh, people I can work with, coach, train, put in very difficult situations, see what they accomplish. People that I think, that we think as a leadership team in the company, can be successful in their own right for our business. And so, based on that experience and a little bit of research, I think I'm capable of talking a little bit about this. Now, how did the topic come up? A few years ago, I was asked to talk to a group of students, 10th graders actually, in advance of a, um, uh, of a career forum. It was kind of in a setting like you see. Actually, it was more like this. It was a big auditorium, more impressive than the classroom setting. Lots of students, and the, and the idea of the talk was to, to get them ready for their first career forum or career discussion where they were going to meet uh, professionals of all different walks of life. And I wanted to get them to think about success in whatever way you define it, to get a feel for what, uh, what causes or what are the things that lead to success. And, and so what, what did I do? I did a little bit of research, uh, studied some of the, the best CEOs, uh, top uh, Fortune 1000 companies, where they come from. Uh, I looked at b billionaires and other uh, very uh, financially successful people. I looked at people in the, in the political world, um, also those that are involved in community service, anyone in any walk of life that was successful. I also reflected back on my own experience in my own career, um, in school, in sports, uh, all the things I did throughout my, my 44 years of, of life. Uh, I, I reflected back on those to really draw on, on the things that I saw were common uh, in successful people. And I thought long and hard uh, about this question. What makes people successful? Was it predestined? Does it depend on the school you go to, or the courses you take, or the degrees that you have? Does it depend on your grades? 
who you know, your network? Does it depend on your personality? Does it depend on your background? Or your IQ? Sure, all those things are important, and, and any combination thereof uh, will, will make someone very talented or very much prepared to be successful. But the answer to the question when I looked at all those things was that there's really none of the above. So I kept looking. Success, however you define it, is self made, it is earned. Successful people come from all walks of life, but they share common threads. Now, these common threads are not measured by IQ, by degrees, by schools you go to, by money, or by networks. Rather, they are measured by things all of us possess or can possess if we so desire. So I came up with this five common threads plus two more that I've learned to appreciate since I first gave the talk. So you guys ready to go through that? Now before I do, uh, I was kind of, come on, this is an interactive session, all right? <laughs> so why is this important? Well, because success is well within all of our reaches. Whether you're a student or a teacher, me, the other speakers here, parents, or anyone else, success is within our reach. And the simple truth is, is that you determine your success. So let's go through the list. First, successful people dream big. Simple thought. I like to say that to have a big dream requires the same effort as having a small dream. Same amount of energy. Successful people dream big. Go for it. Second, some people will tell you to do what you love. I love golf and wine. <laughs> I'm, I'm successful in neither of those uh, loves of mine. I have a different spin on it. I say love what you do. And that's what I've seen in successful people across the board. Successful people are passionate. They have energy, enthusiasm about everything they do. Their life's work, their, their pleasures, their leisurely activities, whatever they do, S projects at home, community service, successful people go all the way in, all in, all of the time. They love what they do. Third, we heard this earlier today. Take risks. Don't be afraid to fail. Successful people take chances. Sometimes they fail. Sometimes they fall. But successful people get right back up. They learn from those mistakes, from those failures, makes them stronger, and they do it again. And they do it again. And what one quote, I, I had it written down, that's why I looked at my notes, that I found quite uh, helpful for this is, that if you don't try for something unusual, if you don't go for the extraordinary, you're often going to settle for the ordinary. And I like sports, and an an another quote that I like for the, uh, to capture this thought of taking chances and taking risks is one from Wayne Gretzky, uh, who's one of the greatest uh, hockey players of all times. If, if there's any uh, Canadians here, they will debate that and say he is the greatest of all time. Wayne Gretzky said that he missed 100% of the shots he did not take. Think about that. You can't win, you can't succeed if you don't take the shot. Take risks. Work hard. Yes, there are people out there that are smarter than you. There are people that have better networks, that went to better schools, that have better degrees, that come from, better, from uh, more connected families that are luckier. Successful people, all of them, work harder than anybody. They're committed. They're determined. They put more sweat equity into it. 
They're prepared for everything they do. They over-prepare sometimes. They put the hours in. Every successful person I know works harder than anyone else in their field. They never let anyone outwork them. Here's what Colin Powell said. A dream doesn't become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. Focus on your strengths. In schools, in business, we, we all spend a lot of time talking about and thinking about our weaknesses. How do we fix them? How do we improve them? How do we get better on our weaknesses? Yes, it's important to, to improve on mistakes that we make, learn from them, and keep going. But I say focus on your strengths. And successful people do just that. They understand what they're good at, they understand what they're strong at, and they, and they practice that, and they keep doing that, and they get better and better and better at it. Successful people focus on their strengths. Here's another quote to support that. Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Coach John Wooden. So those are the five common threads or traits shared by successful people. Now remember, I wanted to share two more with you that I've learned since I first started to think about this topic. And the first one is kind of a, an odd one which is act like an owner. Think about a shop owner. A shop owner that has a, uh, a small store versus the employee that works in that store. Shop owner, she'll usually uh, work late hours, uh, be committed to the project. Always, when she leaves the store, turns the lights off. Employee, sometimes. Why does the shop owner do that? Because it's her investment, it's her company, it's her life's project. Owners behave differently. Whether it's in business or in school or a project you're working on, owners behave differently. Act like an owner. Own it. And then finally, uh, as I was coming to, uh, uh, to this final list of seven, uh, I was, th this, these last two topics came to me at a speech or a presentation I was at a few, uh, a few months ago where I was listening to uh, an, an investor a very successful investor and actually a, a shareholder at Burger King who has been uh, a very successful investor for many, many years. And he was giving a very poignant, very important talk on, on very simple uh, but powerful uh, thoughts around leadership and success. And, and one of the points he made was around acting like an owner in everything you do. And I, I, I reflected quite a bit on that. And what I found powerful about that, in addition to the thought of acting like an owner, is that no matter how, mu how long you've been at it, like I have for a while, uh, or whether you're, ju you're just starting, it's important to keep learning. Successful people always keep learning. Uh, they keep their minds open, uh, they listen, they, they talk to mentors, uh, they research. Successful people are always looking to learn more and to get an edge uh, on the others. And it's what you learn after you know it all that counts. So that's my list. Dream big. Love what you do. Take risks. Don't be afraid to fail. Work hard. Focus on your strengths. Act like an owner. And don't stop learning. Remember, success is within your reach. You determine your success. Thank you very much.